Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to listen to me read out an answer I got from Wizards of the Coast. Yes, I wrote an open letter to Wizards of the Coast and they finally answered, and of course this is sarcasm, so please, it's not a real letter from Wizards of the Coast, it's something I wrote and I think is hilarious, so I'm gonna share it with you, but unfortunately Wizards of the Coast is refusing to answer any of us is refusing to do a statement except for maybe this product might not be for you but um, yeah I uh, I wrote a letter to them uh, recently and hoped I would hear from them but of course I did not and today I'm gonna read the sarcastic answer I drafted myself obviously before I do that a quick thanks to all the old subs all the new subs and of course my patrons with your support this channel can stay independent and I actually can give you my opinion and do these kind of things and write sarcastic letters by Wizards of the Coast to myself so yeah <laughs> that's that's how we roll here folks uh, I think I'm just gonna read it out and you tell me what you think about it afterwards in the comments last time it went really well and you loved it and uh, yeah I don't think it's as funny as the first one but I leave that up to you and I don't want to take away from it before I even read it to you so here it goes dear nerd and proud of it we the wizards of the ivory tower decided to bless you with an answer we won't thank you for your open letter because we don't give a fuck about you or the other price sensitive douchebags that play our game. But we feel that there is a bit of a pushback from a united front of players, collectors and those money spending highly valued investors. So in order to ensure you'll keep buying our shit, we decided to throw you a bone here. And yes, we did not mention LGSs on purpose because we haven't heard of them for a while. Do you maybe know what happened to them? They seem awfully quiet. We don't see a problem here. Hasbro stockholders need to make money and you got enough of it. So that is the perfect system. Of course, we won't slow down our product releases. <laughs> Not really. That would mean you actually have time to think about what's going on and we can't have a thinking customer base now, can we? That would mean you actually recognize us acknowledging the secondary market with our actions. Printing certain cards to oblivion that have gone up in the secondary market means we can sell more products. Not printing other much desired cards with a low supply and virtually no secondary market sales means we can put them into secret lairs and ask whatever the fuck we want for them. Ah, again, it's the perfect system. Who cares if you buy the 30th anniversary edition? We just gonna give it to Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh content creators and sell it to their customer base. Everything is better than apologizing to you. And we will tell you it sold out anyways, so that's that. And once you bought that product for a thousand dollars, we will just do that kind of thing again and again and again. Of course we lied, that's what we do. We're here to make money. Not to be honest or care about the community or our game or whatever. <sighs> You're so naive, it's awesome. And we locked up poor little Marky in the dungeon of the ivory tower, by the way. Don't you be concerned about him. He gets a couple of food tokens from time to time if he tells you what we want him to say. And believe us, we will shove products so far up your ass you will taste cardboard for weeks. It is what we do these days and we're fucking good at it. So just shut up and behave as you used to. We don't need to hear your thoughts or complaints. We just want your money. Don't you get it? When we say this product is not for you, we actually mean this product is not for the ones who can't afford it. So screw them. And by the way, Bob over here still laughs at the non-tournament legal ruse that some of you actually seem to accept as a reason. Ah, uh, we don't even support tournaments anymore. You all are really dumb. It's fantastic. And if you think you actually can make an impact, nerd and proud of it, if you really think you can cause us to change, then you are even dumber than the rest. We've been doing the switcheroo for 30 years now. Nobody complained before. We don't need you, we don't need players, and we don't need LGSs. And we need the investors a little bit, but hey, nobody's perfect. 
And yeah, we also need Amazon because after you suckers bought product for marked up prices the traditional way, we actually gonna squeeze even more money out of you by dumping all of our products for actual prices. Ah, you should hear our new CFO cheering in his golden office. It's such a delightful sound. So go back to your little life. Stop bothering us. Stop believing we will ever change and forget about the game. The game is not important. What is important is that we can print dollar bills. So we are doing the next best thing. We will continue to print Magic the Gathering cards. More and more and more. And then maybe even a few more just to be on the safe side. Fuck you. Sincerely, the mage dynasty of the golden toilet bowl. P.S. Dear customer, here's a product you might be interested in. The 30th anniversary edition. It's awesome and it only costs a thousand bucks. Just click this link, celebrate MTG's 30th anniversary of us and your community. Buy it and then please fuck off. Yeah, folks, it's not every day that someone gets a letter by Wizards of the Coast, right? I can consider myself a lucky bastard. Um, but seriously, folks, I hope you enjoyed my little bit of uh, sarcasm here. Um, it is my way of trying to tell you not to buy the 30th anniversary edition. The sale will go live in a couple of hours. It's uh, it's the last time I can ask you not to buy it, so I will. I personally want to make sure I did everything in my power to try to prevent Magic the Gathering from dying because of this shitty product. And yes, it might sound dramatic, but I'm convinced in the long run Magic the Gathering will die if they continue down this path. And if we endorse this product, they will continue down this path. And then they're going to reprint everything and then we all can just buy a boxed game and all the Timmies will be happy and we all will have the same cards don't buy it folks don't buy it i wish you a very nice rest of the week thanks a lot for listening to this i really appreciate it stay healthy stay frosty i'll talk to you next time bye folks